Hello everyone. Oh, my volume is really, really low. I think my voice might be getting louder at the moment. Here we go. Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Rome 2 action. We have a 3v3 Rival Rip. Sally sells she shells by the seashore. River crossing battle for you here. There we go. I did it. I have succeeded where others have failed in pronouncing words. This one has been sent in to us by Eric. And as always, let us go over the players on the field of battle. Quickly go over army comps, and then we'll get right into it. So, uh, <clears throat> over yonder here, on this side of the river, we have Eric playing as Egypt, Billy T. Sherm playing as Gete, way over here, and then playing as Nasesli, we have Starkiller556. On this side of the river, you guys stay on your side of the river, we'll stay on our side, and we'll be all right. Uh, on this side, we have Hinkleberry88 playing as Pontus, uh, Gkev146 playing as Armenia, and Lord Grimm playing as Lusitani. Uh, we'll start on this side of the... What? 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 What's going on here? Oh, you know what... <laughs> I think, I think maybe what it is is that because the game like just started and I paused it as soon as it started, the units didn't have a chance to actually materialize yet. What is going? This is crazy. All right, so it's Misesli, Gete, and Egypt fighting the Ghost Army. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Anyway, <clears throat> Lusitani is bringing. We have a unit of Iberian Cav. In the back, we have some Iberian Slingers. Looks like we have uh, three Iberian Slingers. And was that a Skirmisher? One Iberian Skirmisher. And how many? Uh, looks like... Okay, hold on. Uh, this is this is screwing me up because there's actually nobody here. All right, so one, two, three, four... Five, six slingers and one skirmisher. Or no, two skirmishers. Wait. Yeah, one skirmisher and six slingers. Okay. She. All right. My God. Uh, then we have. Let's see. Lusitani swordswoman. Swordswoman. Swordsman. Not a, a terrible unit. Not great. Melee defense fifty-five. Armor is fifteen. So not uh, terrific. But melee attack and weapon damage is uh, not too bad. Charge bonus is also sort of trash, actually. Um, Lusitani Noble General. Then we have some sword, more swordswomen? Wow, we went with a lot of swordswomen. Okay. Uh, Skitari Spears. And that is it. So lots of swordswomen and Skitari Spears. Interesting. Interesting. Lots of ranged, too. Uh, not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but uh, slingers, I don't think... Well, on the bridge, if you got them on the side, they could sling into the side. Anyway, getting distracted. Armenia is bringing. We have some Hillmen, Axemen, Persian Hoplites, uh, Elite Persian uh, Archers. Elite Persian Archers definitely are a little bit better. Uh, to bring, but even still, remember what I said. I feel like in land battles, it's better... So what do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five. Uh, Persian Hoplites. Uh, we don't know where his general is either. I'm assuming his general's probably in here somewhere. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I always feel like... Oh, not that I always feel. This is just a feeling that I've had recently that it's better to bring skirmishers uh, for land battles. Uh, and then Pontus is bringing <clears throat> some eastern archers. How many do we have? They've only brought... Two, no, they have four. They have four Eastern Archers. Okay. Uh, front line is some Thurio Spears. Not bad. Mercenary Celtic Warriors. That's obviously not too bad either. Hillman, Eastern Spears. Pontic Swords. Pontic Sword General. Uh, so a lot of Celtic Warriors, Pontic Swords, and Eastern Spearmen and some Thurio Spears thrown in for some flair. Gete is bringing. What do we got over here? Some Falksmen, Noble Horsemen. Very scary. Armored Spears. Armored, armored, armored. Then we have some noble swords. One unit of noble swords. And then we have, let's see, Thracian Peltus, Thracian Peltus, 
Thracian Peltus, and then Dacian Heavy Bowman. All right. Very heavy on the... Uh, everyone is, actually. Very heavy on the skirmisher. Or not skirmishers, but... <laughs> look at everyone's just... <laughs> just crammed over here. This is amazing. Okay, sorry. Um... Misses, uh, we'll, we'll do Egypt and then we'll get into Misesli. Egypt is bringing some Ptolemaic Cav. We have Egyptian Slingers. We have two Rhodian Slingers. Uh, Egyptian Cavalry. Then we have some Carrion Axemen. One Galatian Royal Guard. Two Levy Thurio Spear. Honestly, not a bad idea to bring these for a land battle. Uh, because let's take a look. So 45 armor. And then over here, theirs is 70. So 45 armor is still pretty good. They're obviously going to get a bonus against Cav, which is nice. They still have the directionable uh, projectiles that you can uh, have them attack with. Uh, and it's a land battle. You want your unit to be able to move quickly, get out of the way, get in, get out, yada, yada, yada. Uh, these are light spear infantry, so they're going to be good for that. So we'll see uh, how well they do. Uh, Sobek Cultists in the back. That's always a, a, a pretty scary unit to deal with, literally and figuratively. Uh, and then, yeah, we have uh, two units of Glacier Royal Guard, and that's it. Misesli is bringing, we have some Armenumanian Riders, Armenumanian Riders, and then way over here, just completely bunched up. I'm going to try and figure out. I mean, I know what's here. Numidian Riders, how many? I'm not sure. It looks like three, perhaps. And then... <laughs> just looks so ridiculous. Uh, I, I don't know how many Numidian Light Infantry. There's a hand. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, four. Yeah, that seems about right. All right. So, 11 minutes, 28 seconds on the clock. Let's get it on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, can we see... No, we can't. Oh, but look at this. Look at this. Numidian Riders immediately breaking out. They're going to catch... If they're not paying attention, they're going to catch these Iberian Slingers right off the bat. Especially if he doesn't move his Thurio Spears uh, to counter these guys. But even if he does, he has three more. I mean, he might catch one Numidian Rider, but he has th uh, three more Numidian Riders loop around and charge right into the back of these eastern archers and really get rid of these guys. Oh, Jesus. Already gone. These guys are gone. Meanwhile, over here, do we see Armenia's general yet? We do not. So we don't know exactly what he has. I'm assuming that he's either going to have... Uh, he's probably going to have some type of cab general. I don't think they get anything else. Back here. Ooh, Levy Pikes hiding in the trees. Looks like the Masesli might actually come over here to, one, hide these units, and also, two, potentially scout out to see if there's anything else in these trees that are hiding there. Pontus still completely unaware, it appears, that there's anything going on over here. And uh, these new mini riders are just going to rack up the kills. Armenia is now shifting over to assist his Lusitanian ally. Shatari Spear is just holding firm. Uh, Mercenary Thracian Peltis moving on up. Dacian Bowman, uh, Heavy Bowman sitting on the wings. Are they shooting now? They're not firing at anything yet. Nothing is within range. Uh, look at that. There goes the Eastern Archers. Yeah, they're completely gone. Uh, they, they might come back, actually. Pontus finally realizing what's going on. Moving over his Pontic Swords. Not even bothering to use his Thurio Spears. Why not? Here comes someone. Oh, these guys are getting absolutely slaughtered. Karen Axman moving forward. Probably going to throw some, yeah, throw some jabbies at these uh, Eastern Spears. They're going to fall back. Glacier Royal Guard just going to move right on in. Heavy hitters going in. I mean, they don't have a lot of heavy hitters themselves. They don't have bronchial pikes or uh, any type of cab or scythe chariots or anything like that. So these Glacier Royal Guard. Are going to have a field day. A huge, huge field day. Getting backed up by Sobek Cultus. Uh, at the same breath, Egyptian Slingers going to town on these hillmen. Going to actually manage to get them the route. Uh, ooh, we have a unit of Canterbury and Cab as well. The Minion Riders going to get shot up a little bit. That's not great. They're going to make a beeline for these Eastern Archers. And they made it. 
So they're at least going to get a little charge off. 30 men left, up to 122 kills. And look at that. Jukes to the right, charges into these Eastern Archers. I believe that they were firing. Not anymore. Oh, here we go. What do we got? What do we got? Two Horse Archers and two Noble Horse Archers. And then we have a Royal Cataphract General from Armenia. They're going to shift on over here. Uh, Masasely might be in a wee bit of trouble with these guys. Especially the Noble Horse Archers, because they're a little bit more heavily armored. Uh, but Masasely has managed to box Pontus up. Egypt's going to be able to cross the bridge and really put a, a pounding on these mercenary Celtic warriors. And once this front line right here is gone, they're going to be able to smash right into the back of Pontus and uh, deal some pretty serious damage. The Minion Riders still riding around. They've actually managed to catch the Pontic swords, uh, Swordman General. And they're going to get a big charge right in the rear. 149 guys going to drop two. There it goes. Drop it a little bit. Drop to 140, 139. They are now losing pretty badly. And over here we just got some... Uh, ooh, look at that. Egyptian cavalry managing to get across the bridge and right into these Iberian slingers. Ustani's really not paying attention. Head in the clouds. Kind of just, it seems like he's trying to focus mainly on preventing Gete from crossing the river over here. Uh, he's not even really realizing that his uh, range units are getting cut down by the Egyptian cav. And they're not, actually no, they're not too, too bad, are they? 45, 25 w uh, weapon damage isn't too great. Health is pretty good. Melee defense not bad. Armor at 50, that's also pretty decent. Mini is moving up some of his elite Persian archers. Not really sure why. I'm pretty sure he had the range to be able to fire at some of these guys. Thracian Peltis going and getting into combat here. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea actually once one of these units is out of ammo to just charge them right on through and you'll be able to get them in there. Look at that. Hillman breaking right there. Meanwhile, over here, Misesli taking on Pontus. Pontic Swordsman. Doing pretty good against Numidian Light Infantry. They're not... Numidian Light Infantry is pretty solid infantry, but uh, they need to be supported. Uh, and most of these units are getting supported. Some of them not so much, but ooh, look at this. He's managed to find a little bit of a gap. Engaging the Thurio Spears, and now he's going to actually charge right into the rear. Oh, big jabby throw. Into the back of these Levy Pikes. Meanwhile, over here, Armenia is doing a pretty good job of circling around. He's going to start being able to get into the back of some of Masesli's troops, fire into the back of them, charge into the back of them, uh, and that's going to start to break some of Masesli's forces. However, he still does have two units of Numidian riders, so once he finds some gaps or uh, units that are nice and juicy for him to go after, I'm sure he's going to slip on through and do some serious damage. Five minutes, 25 seconds left in this one, guys. Don't forget to like, share. Subscribe, comment, do all the cool YouTube stuff. It helps out the channel. And, of course, I appreciate it as well. Meanwhile, over here, Gete is getting pretty well and stuffed over here. But as a result of that, uh, Pontus is getting thoroughly dismantled. And Lusitani does not have much of anything left either. Armenia is doing okay because they have uh, Cav over here to ride around and get some pretty decent kills. 197, 200. Look at that number go. 205 kills so far for the Royal Cataphract General from Armenia. Uh, but the Levy Pikes from Pontus not having a great time. One of them's already gone. One is left. Honestly, I don't. I never thought the Pikes were the best thing to bring for land battles. It's too easy to outflank and outmaneuver them. Unless you're really heavily supporting them. And even still then, they'll get focused down by uh, Archer Fire. Chips and Slingers just kind of hanging out, shooting into these... Oh, no, there's... Is that... Or is that the other one? Is that the one that I was just talking about? That might have been the one I was just talking about. Yeah, it's got to be. Uh, but Iberian Cav, not doing too great. Going to pull away. Not bad stats, though. 50, 39, 50 melee defense. Armor's pretty trash, but for a, a light, light melee Cav, that's pretty pretty solid. Lusitani does get some pretty decent cab, I, I will say that. Not terrific, but... So 
noble horse archers taking some shots. Glacier roll guard up to 163 kills. How about the other one? 303. And this is just going to climb too. Egypt went with some very expensive units, and uh, it seems to be paying off pretty well. It seems like he uh, banked on the fact that, uh, I think this is a small funds, uh, on the fact that the enemies that they would be fighting would be going for more quantity over quality, so to speak, and uh, now that they're, they're kind of paying for it. <laughs> they really are paying for it. Glacier Royal Guard, and they've only lost uh, a little, little less than 20 guys so far. Let's see, what, 18? 18 men, they're up to 214 kills. So they are absolutely paying for themselves right now. I mean, these guys have lost almost 40 men, and they are up to 311 kills. So Pikes moving back on in. They're going to be able to get into the rear of these Numidian Light Infantry. Hopefully they get there in time so they can at least uh, do some pokey pokey into the back of these guys over here. Which it seems like they're going to, but what do we have over here? Karen Axman, yeah, they're losing decisively against the Royal Cataphracts. Not really surprising. I mean, their melee defense is, is trash. Cataphracts and Shot Cav, their melee defense is always trash because you're just supposed to charge them in, pull them out. They're not supposed to be in prolonged melee combat. Uh, but with their 110 armor, and their insane health pool as well with that 120. Uh, it's no surprise that the Carrion Axemen, plus the Carrion Axemen are kind of trash. Uh, no surprise that they're doing pretty terribly over here. 322 kills though for the Royal Cataphract General, so that is a very impressive. He's going to pull away. Looks like he's going to either uh, charge back into them, which honestly wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, there he goes. This, uh, this charge might be it. This might be the one to get rid of them. Ooh, they still have jabbies, though. They do! They do! They are managing to get rid of a handful, not a lot, but a handful of units here. Uh, but here comes the general once more. We got one more jabby toss-off, so that's good. They're up to 118 kills. That's pretty impressive for carrying axes. There we go. Look at that number drop. My lord. Down to 22 guys, and they're going to be out of here in no time. Look at this. Glacier Royal Guard coming over. Quick. Quick coming over. They're going to go after the Egyptian. I was about to say Iberian Slingers. Uh, Egyptian Slingers. Going to get into them. That's going to slow them down, though. That's going to allow Egypt to hopefully get his Glacier Royal Guard into the Royal Cataphracts, tie them down, and not allow them to really go anywhere. Basically charging forward in an effort to tie down these noble horse archers. Meanwhile, over here, uh, oh wow, they're gone. I missed this. I'm sorry, I missed this. 37 seconds left, uh, and these guys got pretty well and thrashed. Noble horseman over here, 124 kills, 117 for Egypt, and 312 for the armored Dominion riders. That's it. That's all she wrote. I mean, he's going to try, try and run away, but I mean, at this point, you might as well just charge in. You're not going to win. Uh, morale is pretty pretty terrible. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, look at this. He really didn't bring a lot. All right, Eric getting 1,956 kills, 119 for the Ptolemaic Cab General, 153 for the Egyptian Cab, well done there. 168 and 76 for the Egyptian Slingers, awesome. 100 and 100 <laughs> for the uh, Rhodian Slingers, very cool. 304 and 341 for the two Galatian Royal Guard, 107 and 119 for the Carrion Axemen, awesome. 94 and 138 for the Levy Thurio Spear. Look at that. Love to see it. And 137 for the Sobek Cultists as well. Billy T. Sherm getting 1,291 kills. 124 for the Noble Horseman. Uh, look at this. Is Dacent Heavy Bowman not taking like any damage whatsoever and fucking dealing it out? My God. 165, 215, 130, and 150. Mercenary Thracian Peltist, uh, 61, 87, and 96. Pretty good. Um, uh, armored Spears, 25, 55, 0, and 36. Foxman didn't even get sent in. And then the Noble Swords, 147.
Starkiller556 getting 2,753 kills. 312, bleh, 312 for the Armored Numidian Rider General. 357 for his other Armored Numidian Riders. Awesome. Well done there. 176, 171, 74, and 238. I have never seen that high of a number on the Numidian Riders. That's for damn sure. Good Lord. Well done. 16, 241, 8, uh, 26, 53, 223, 25, 131, 120, 226, 45, 124, and 187 for his Numidian Light Infantry. Awesome. Well done across the board with these guys. Uh, Hingleberry 88 getting 954 kills, 135 for his general. 31, 4, 48, 52 for the Eastern Archers, 3, 5, and uh, well, 3 and 5 for the Eastern Spears, 9 for the Hillman, 88 and 61 for the Levy Pikes, 20, 34, 24, and 31 for the Mercenary Celtic Warriors, 126 and 46 for the other two Pontic Swords, and then the Thurio Spear, 10, 55, 112, and 60. G Kev, 146 with 1,781 kills. 423 for his Royal Cataphract General. Awesome. Well done there. 78 and 111 for the Horse Archers. 152 and 124 for the Noble Horse Archers. Horse horse Archers. Uh, Elite Persians. 143, 105, 73, 226, and 62. So well done with some of those units. 151 for the Axemen. 43, 64, and 17 for the Hillmen. And then 9 for the Persian Top Lights. And then Lord Grimm getting 1,129. 62 for the Loose Tiny Nobles. That's rough. 81 and 51 for the Iberian Cav. I didn't even realize he had a second one. Uh, Iberian Skirmisher. He did have two. I didn't even. I didn't see the second one. 58 and 93 for his two Iberian Skirmishers. 87, 134, one, uh, 48, 0, and 1 for the Iberian Slingers. And then the Loose Tiny sword, Swordswoman. I was about to say Swordswoman. Jesus. 38, 72, 119, 47, 99, and 49. And then the Spatari Spears, uh, 0, 33, 55, and 2. Well done to everyone across the board. I mean, even the, the defenders here, they did pretty well. Uh, and making the attackers pay somewhat. But yeah. 238 on the Numidian Rider. Seriously, like you don't. They don't live that long, usually. That's insane. Absolutely insane. Awesome, though. Love to see it. All right, guys, that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed yourselves in this quick river crossing battle. Love to see it. Love to see the variety in land battles. I feel like we don't see them enough in uh, Rome 2. So they're always fun to cover. Uh, with that being said, have a great day, morning, evening, afternoon, night, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are while you're watching. Just have a good one. Peace out, guys.